If we're talking about the midpoint of a line segment, which means that it has fixed endpoints, we first have to talk about an idea of congruence. In geometry, congruence means the same distance, or the same measurement. Before we filmed, I drew two congruent segments. They measure exactly 9 inches. Notice that I used the two marks to denote inches. If I only used one of these, that would mean 9 feet. But from looking at this, this is definitely not 9 feet. So both of these are exactly 9 inches. I'm going to add in endpoints that have labels. So I'm going to say this is line segment AB, and I'm going to say that this is line segment CD. Now, if I was going back to algebra, we love using equal signs in algebra. So I would say that AB is equal to CD. But now that we're in geometry, we're going to be using a different term, and that different term is congruence. So I'm going to say that line segment AB, notice I don't have arrows on here, which tells me that's not a ray and it's not a line, is congruent to line segment CD. Now something that we should discuss right now is two lines can never be congruent because they're infinite. So in algebra we would say AB equals CD. In geometry we say AB is congruent to CD. The only difference here is that we have Mr. Squiggles and I have the bar over AB which tells me we're talking about a line segment. So getting back to our line segment, there is one point on this line segment that will bisect it. I'm going to write that down. Bisect is also a geometry vocabulary word. Now what bisect means is that it will divide this into two congruent pieces. How can I tell every single geometry student, every geometry teacher, every mathematician in the world that these two are congruent? Well, the way I do that is by using marks. So I'm going to write the same number of marks on either of these segments. If you wanted to, you could use two marks. Or if you're feeling crazy, you could use three marks. But this tells every geometry student that, this, that these two line segments have to be congruent. 